Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we have a fun topic. We're going to be talking about upcycling furniture, how you can, somebody that you can go to if you have a piece that you want um, to be made new, or if you want to try and attempt to do a piece yourself, we have owner of Uniquely Yours Restorations, Ellie Powell, joining us today. And she's going to tell us what the most important thing is in any furniture restoration project. So without further ado, let's get Ellie on to join us. And, Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, I'm very excited. I've been following you and your page for a while. You do some beautiful pieces. Oh, thank um, you. <laughs> and I, so it started off for you as kind of a hobby, right? You just, you, it did. you enjoyed yes. doing it and it's blossomed into a very robust business for you. <laughs> it has. Yes, it has. I, I am kept busy. I am very blessed with, oh my goodness, the clientele that I have and my repeat customers, um, my neighbors, my family. Yeah. I mean, everybody has been such a big supporter of um, my hobby that I, I truly enjoy it. That's fantastic. I mean, when you can find something that you love and that's what you do for work, I mean, life doesn't get much better than that. So, oh, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's for sure. So, so you you take pieces and like pieces that you know maybe somebody has had in their house or their family for a long time and it and it looks dated and you give them a modern um, a modern feel to them, right? You freshen it up Correct. and update it and yep. make it feel like it fits in their home currently. Exactly. Whatever color um, stain they, they're interested in. Um, a lot of people are, they let's face it, during the quarantine, everybody was stuck at home and everybody's been updating their house. Yes. Oh, so now they need to update their furniture. And so they come to me with their new flooring, a piece of their new flooring, their curtain, uh, fabric, you know, whatever. And um, we try and match it up with the current pieces that they have. And I update it. That's fantastic. And so mm -hmm. something that we we talked about in a previous episode is um, we had Valerie Pence, who's an expert on like clean living, and she was talking about how we can reduce and remove some of the toxins in our home. And one of the things that we had talked about is how a current trend is upcycling furniture. So using yes. existing pieces that don't have all the new chemicals that a lot of newer products have. Um, but then using low VOC paints when you're, you know, correct. when you are refinishing it. And that is something correct. that you use, correct? I do. Yeah. I use, um, I use two brands. I use Fusion Mineral Paint and I use Amy Howard. Uh, Fusion Mineral Paint um, has been around since 1989. They're based out of Toronto, Canada. Um, their product is environmentally friendly, uh, lead-free low VOC, odorless, um, and even the jars that they put the paint in yeah. is 30% recycled. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, so they're very um, environmental conscious and health conscious too. Correct. So yeah. Making I mean, sure the that more, the more, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, the more that we can keep out of the landfill, the better yes. for our environment, right? Absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. it's, it's keeping those pieces out of the landfill and it's also, you know, not thinking about how like some of this like we wouldn't even think about it, how there some of the chemicals and how our newer items and furniture right. are being produced, what that lets off into our homes. Like we don't. Oh, think, exactly. We don't think exactly. about that. So yeah, no. if we can reuse a piece that doesn't have those chemicals. Um, right. That's that's great right. as well. And I found too that you know there's a lot of pieces that have just been built so well. Um, I know, mm -hmm. like I have a great bedroom furniture set that. I mean, it's built very well, but it, you know, it looks a little dated. It's over 20 years old and it doesn't really go with the current, you know, right, theme right. and, you know, feel right. that I want. So well, that, I'd love to have the chance to refurbish yeah, it for you. I was going to say, I think uh, I might have to <laughs> try and get an opening in my calendar. I'm, I I'm so booked. I might have to book you for some time in next, next year to probably, because <laughs> I know you have a, a full schedule. So, um, yeah, so it's definitely getting on your calendar in advance, but, but you're also going to share with us for, for those who would like to try and do a piece on their own. Um, mm -hmm. or maybe it's something that can't be moved. I know I was inspired after we had a, a 
a little bit of a conversation last week and I was inspired. I'm like, Ooh, I think I want to try to do my banister. I have a short banister within my home that again, like the coloring, the stain color, it's just not the look that I want, um, for some of the changes I'm making to my home. So Mm -hmm. if somebody wants to tackle a project on their own, what is, I know you said there's one piece that is absolutely critical, the most important piece. And what is is. that? (laughs) Prepping. Preparation. Very important. (laughs) Which is probably very important in just about any aspect of life, right? Like Mm -hmm. being prepared. Mm -hmm. So the exactly. So preparation. So if you plan to do a piece, don't just, you know, grab some paint and go and try and do it. What what are some of the steps that somebody should do um, in preparation for a, a project like this? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, Basically, you want to make sure that you wash it with um, TSP. Uh, You can use that. Um, Or you can use Dawn dish soap and warm water or vinegar and water. Because you want to make sure you're getting the grease, the oil, the fingerprints, you know, dust all taken off. You're trying Um, to get a a nice surface that, you know, that's clean before you. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to paint over all that stuff. Right. And even if it's got some type of, um, some people clean their banisters with polished furniture, you know, to shine it up. You want to get that off too. But okay. um, then the next step would be you want to um, sand scuff it. Okay. You want to take a 220 grit, okay. lightly sand scuff it and uh, make sure it's, it's done evenly. Okay. Um, just enough so the paint can stick. Okay. And, you don't have to sand uh, it, sand it down to bare wood. No, okay. there's no need to sand it down to bare wood unless Oh, I don't know. Unless you got banisters like mine where the paint is actually missing. <laughs> you know, it's just, right. you know how it goes when you turn the corner and you grab the Oh, yeah. The yep, yeah. There's certain places that are a little off. more worn than others. Yeah. So, and yeah. when you have kids. So you and, you yeah. would need to, to evenly sand it down, I, I would say. Okay. And then after that, um, wash it again. Really good to make sure you get that dust off and then paint away. Okay. And and you want it's going to take um at least two three coats. Okay. Um, and is so, there do you have to wait in between coats? Is there like a length of time? I would wait an hour at okay. least between coats, unless you have a fan on it. Then okay. I you could do it again in thirty minutes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So so it's something you want to plan a little bit of time for, right? Because there's yes. there's the preparation, then there's doing mm-hmm. multiple coats, and then allowing Correct. time to dry in between those coats. Is there anything that needs to be done then after you paint to seal it or is it ready to go? Um, Yeah, no, Fusion has a product. It's a top coat that you can use to seal it if if you want to. Um, Or you could just go to your local hardware store and get a polyacrylic. Okay. I myself don't like to use um, polyurethane because it tends to turn the color yellow. You know, it turns things yellowish. Right. And especially if you're doing a white or a light color, you definitely don't want that. No, no, not at all. So, yeah, definitely a water base if you're interested. But the paint will need at least uh, 20 days to fully cure. Okay. So, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. be manhandling it, you know, the next day. <laughs> so, so you if you do it. something like a banister and you have kids in the house, maybe right. put like that caution tape around it. So exactly. That, so yeah. that they're not, you Don't know, touch. grabbing it every time they walk up and down the stairs. Right. 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 <laughs> so, and it, as far as, I mean, would you recommend if somebody wanted to give something to try, maybe start small and then, you know. I, w- I would start with an end table if you want to start small, smaller okay. bench. Okay. Um, some people have done a chair. Okay. So, you know, anything like to practice on, just go to the thrift store. You can find something real cheap to practice on, sure. you know, and it's okay yeah. if you make a mistake because sometimes mistakes end up being happy mistakes, right, you know, it's right. like, oh, well, I really like that. You know, and there's the distressed look too, right? So a, a lot of mm-hmm. times, you know, I, I know I've seen that, that people will actually add distress to pieces to yes. give it that look. So, you know, just don't be afraid, right? That's, that's right. the key. Don't right. be afraid. Give it a try because the worst case scenario is if it doesn't turn out the way you like, you can always start over again. Correct. Yes, so, you can. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. All right. So there's no reason to fear. So, so give no, us, not at all. Give us an example of some of the project. What are some of your favorite projects that you have worked on? Oh my goodness. Well, I tend to do a lot of dressers and I really enjoy doing dressers and buffets. Um, I would say those are my favorite. Okay. And what- I, I do enjoy doing those because, um, when I pick them up, I try and vision, 
a color for them, you know, because each piece to me has different characteristics. Mm -hmm. You know, they've had a previous life right. and um, they've been previously owned and used in, you know, they got their normal wear and tear. So I love to instill new character into them if I can. Yes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. And yeah, like you said, you, you take the requirements or like not the requirements, but, but the, the feel of the room that the piece is going to be in and yes. help give it its own character so that it, it mm -hmm. fits in as well. So mm -hmm. that's fantastic. So, well, anything else that you want to share with viewers regarding you or your business or Oh, well, like I said, I, I do, um, I do sell, uh, I have merchandise on hand, okay. you know, again, it's previously owned pieces with normal wear and tear to be expected. Um, I give them new life and I do sell them on my Facebook page. Uh, I also take on already owned pieces and refinish them and update them to the client's, um, interest and how okay. they want it done. And, uh, trying to think. Oh, and I know you had mentioned too. So like, as we get closer to the holidays, which we're, we're past them now, we're in, okay, I, you know, some days I don't even know what month we're in, but we are in February. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but as, as we get closer to the holiday season, so this coming fall, you said you have, you'll refinish a number of pieces and then have them available. Um, they're not, they're not custom pieces, right? So they're not somebody's no. specific order there for anybody. And it's kind of a first come first right, serve. Right. 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 So, and I, I, I try and do that as I'm doing, um, uh, um, updating, you know, clients, furniture pieces. I try and squeeze in there one or two pieces to, to post for sale at well, because it is, I mean, it's time consuming. I take pride in my work yeah. and I don't cut corners. Right. So, um, I make sure every step is done because if it's not painted right, it's not going to last. Right. And you know, right. And you're so, creating pieces that will continue to last. Correct. So yeah. That's... And like anything else, I mean, nothing is scratch proof. Um, sure. Even if you were to buy a piece from like, I don't know, Ashley Furniture or whatever. Sure. But still, the point is, is that I love my work and I do take pride in it and I, I don't cut corners. That's good. That's, <laughs> That's good. Why Quality it takes work. Me a while to, to get something posted, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how these other girls are able to get a piece on there like every single day <laughs> when. I don't know. I just well, yeah, right. But if you're taking, you could take pictures of your the the custom pieces you're working on and post it, not for sale, but just to show right. some of you right. know some of what is possible. Um, because exactly. I think there are a lot of people that they have the idea that ooh, I would love for it to use this piece, but I'm not sure what I you know would like it to look like. So exactly, if you, exactly. If you want inspiration and you want to take a look, um, uniquely yours restorations, you can. Check Ellie out and her pieces on Instagram and on Facebook. And so you can get inspiration, um, whether you want to add, be added to her her list, her wait list for uh, custom pieces, or if you want to attempt to do something on your own. Maybe you'll attempt first, and then if it doesn't work out, then you'll get on the list, right? <laughs> right. No, I'd be happy to. So. I would be more than happy to help guide anybody along. I mean, I, I have a client that, again, she wants to refurbish her piano. And I, I told her to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help her yeah. because I, it, it's a piece that's just too big to bring over to my shop. Right. You know, and too much. Yeah. So she's going to attempt it on her own. And okay. I give her credit. I mean, yes. that's great. That is great. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm sure it'll look beautiful. Tell her to take before and after pictures so that we can, exactly. we can see them. So, oh, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for joining us, Ellie. And thank you for all the beautiful work that you do. Thank um, you. I appreciate you having me on. Oh, it's a pleasure having you. And again, if you want to check out her pages for some inspiration, um, uniquely yours, restoration. And um, you can check that out here on Instagram or on Facebook. So thank you, Ellie, for joining us. Thank you thank all you. for tuning in, whether <laughs> live or on the replay. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 12 on Team with Tracy. Thanks. Bye-bye.